Hey, all my underappreciated keyboard superheroes, you know, savers of the company, sysadmins, it's electionpdq.com. I am gonna take you through just kind of the uh, PDQ inventory interface, kind of uh, point out some things that you should notice and uh, you know, like know about inventory. Uh, first couple of things to know, notice right now, in my inventory, I've already done the Active Directory Sync. Uh, I've got, you know, 40 machines in mine. There is a video on how to do Active Directory Sync. This is a lot more interesting to look at when we got more computers on here. But the first thing you need to know about are once you've got these machines in, we've got things called collections. That's down this uh, left side pane over here. Uh, you'll notice I can go in here and I can go look at machines that have got four gig or less of memory. Okay, now this is a dynamic collection. How that works is if you open that up, you can see we put filters on there. Again, we're looking for computers with memory not greater than four gig, or not greater than four gig, and definitely greater than zero. So that's how we do that. And you can build your own and change these. The thing that makes them dynamic, again, is they're gonna be evaluated against the machines that are in there, uh, in your inventory. Now, where that uh, differs from a static collection, now a static collection you can build, and that's one here, right, new static collection click on that. This is a collection that you select the machines that go into and it doesn't change unless you change it. So a uh, place I usually use this is uh, test machines, right? Test machines, any machines I want to send tests to. So you would go and select the specific machines that you want to do that. Now, this being static, you're the one that has to maintain it. So there's no logic behind it. It's just what you put in there. We'll give that an okay and save it. And there we go. Oop, I dropped that in the wrong place. There we go test machines. Uh, let me also show you another thing in regards to uh, data and computer information. So any of these computers that you're collecting data on, you can open up, let's just look at Bugs Bunny. And of course, my machines are named after Looney Tunes, kind of one of my favorite cartoons growing up. But down this pane over here, this is kind of like the tables you would be looking in to find the data. So in the computer table, you'd have Obviously, just general computer information, the name of the machine, the IP address, the Mac, what's the operating system. You know, it even has some uh, manufacturer for the board information here. Uh, a very popular one and used a lot is your applications table here. Obviously, you know, we've got application names, when it was installed, uninstall strings, those kind of things. Again, this is in the paid for version. You can have access to all of this. Uh, again, as you roll down this, these are tables you can find data. You know, look, deployments. I can actually go look and see what has been deployed to a machine. In this case, I haven't deployed anything to Bugs Bunny. Again, I haven't done that deployment. When I do, you'll actually have a bit of a history here on the deployments that you have done using PDQ Deploy when it integrates with inventory. So again, here's where you would dig. You open the machine, and then you could dig into the data there. Now, the great thing about that is reporting, right? Now, the difference between reporting and dynamic collections is this. Dynamic collection gives you computer names. You know, give me all the computers that have 7-Zip or give me all the computers that have Google Chrome. A report can say, okay, give me all the computers that have Google Chrome and what version they are. So, it takes the, the detail level deeper. So, again, we've got some pre-built reports. You just go down here and run reports. I'm just gonna run the application report. There we go, here's all the applications on Bugs Bunny. You'll notice Bugs Bunny was selected when I ran this. There it is, all the applications on Bugs Bunny. If you wanted to see all the applications on your entire network and everything in inventory, you just go to your select collection source and say all computers. And there you go, there's all the software that I've got on all my machines. And the nice thing about this is you can group by any of these columns by right clicking and say group by, there you go. So that's your reports. Uh, another thing, some things to be aware of, right? Let's say you're setting this up. You want to go in and take a look at your preferences. You go to options and preferences. Here is where you would set your Active Directory sync, okay? You could go in and set up your mail server if you want to mail email reports, uh, your network information in regards to pinging, you know, machines and heartbeat. How often do you check if machines online? This is where you do that. Now, if you're using the trial and you're getting a new key that you wanna put in, you don't wanna reinstall, all you've gotta do is go to help, license, and here's where you'd enter your license. And then you could take that trial and uh, move it directly over to the paid version 
you know, PDQ inventory enterprise. So this is the interface. Again, it's really kind of uh, intuitive, you know, kind of work through the process, go to the computer, see what's in the computer, find the tables, find the columns. You can build reports, build dynamic collections, and, uh, you know, get some intelligence in regards to what's going on in your network. Hey, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.